Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Caitlin and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the best natural deodorant that I have ever tried. So I filmed kind of like a part one of this video um, before, which I will link down below, where I tested two different brands of natural deodorant and kind of talked about my initial journey of like switching to natural deodorant and any skin reactions I experienced, all of that. So if you missed that video, I will link it down below. You guys can watch it later. But I'm also going to go touch back on the brands that I mentioned in that video, which were um, Kopari and Schmitz. And then also talk about a new brand I've discovered that I really, really love. And then a bunch of other deodorant brands that I tested throughout this process. It's been months and months of me testing different brands. And it's been months and months of me honestly being a little sweaty and a little smelly. So a lot of these brands did not work out for me. But I found one that I'm super excited to recommend to you guys because it's working out so well for me personally. And I just feel like I need to tell everyone about it because... It's fantastic. I think I have seven different brands of deodorant here to talk to you guys about today. So I've really done a lot of different research and I'm very happy that I've finally found something that works for me. So I think I wanna start by giving a slight update on the brands that I tried in my last video. Um, I did receive a lot of helpful comments from you guys. So thank you so much if you commented either like suggestions for different deodorant brands to try or like just general tips or things about the deodorants for me to consider. A lot of you guys reacted to my photo of my skin reaction and the rash under my armpit that I showed in relation to Kopari. And you guys felt like maybe I needed to give Kopari another chance because my skin might work through that and might have still been like detoxing. I did decide to give Kopari one more try. And if you guys want like more in-depth thoughts about either of these first two deodorants, again, that video will be linked down below. But I did want to say that although when I returned to this, um, I did not get the same like level of bright red rash that I did the first time, I still feel like it clogged my pores or like broke me out in a weird way. Um, I think maybe just like the coconut oil. I know some people swear by coconut oil for their skincare, but I think that's a very person to person thing about whether or not your skin can tolerate so much oil or the type of coconut oil on your skin without clogging the pores so I feel like this did still give me like little red breakouts like in my armpit area which is like not something I normally get so this was not right for me still and then I just to be sure gave Schmitz another try um, I had the charcoal and magnesium version of this deodorant and again I experienced the exact same thing that I experienced at first that is in that first video which is basically just very dry scaly armpits with like red irritated bumps um, so no changes with this. I did just want to go back. I had used each of these for about two weeks in that first video and um, Just wanted to give them a little more time. Okay, so I'm not gonna hide the ball I'm just gonna start right away with the deodorant that I think is best and has been working really well for me um, it's from a smaller company called Zion Health and it's their clay dry deodorant um, I have this in charcoal mint and uh, this is what the packaging looks like and this company actually reached out to me after I posted my first video kind of talking about switching to natural deodorant and they offered to send me this. So I did receive this from them for free, but I assure you guys, I will 100% be purchasing more of this with my own money. So I'm not being paid. This is not an ad. Um, I just wanna make that clear, but um, let me tell you why I really like this. This is probably out of all the natural deodorants I've tried, the one that keeps me the most dry. I would say that this is the closest to using um, a traditional aluminum based deodorant as anything I've tried. And in fact, I would say it's like on par in terms of like the dryness and the odor protection and all of that. Like I'm very satisfied and I feel very confident wearing this. I have not had any skin reactions to this so far. I've been using it for about two weeks. Um, no bumps, no redness, nothing like that. So as I mentioned, it, this does actually keep me dry. Um, a lot of natural deodorants don't actually promise to absorb wetness. This one does and it actually works. I found it even persists throughout workouts. Like I can do a full run and then I still like, obviously I'm sweating, but I still don't smell terrible. Like it's, this is like pretty effective for me. So this says it's a unique formula of ionic clay minerals and essential oils work effectively to neutralize odor and naturally absorb wetness. It's 
uh, a vegan product as well if that is something that is important to you. So the scent that I've been using the most is this charcoal mint scent and I really think it's very pleasant. I think this could be a unisex scent. I really like that it's just kind of like this nice minty um, scent and even when I do get like a little bit of moisture under my arms it almost has like a minty tingle like in a kind of like fun fresh way um, so I like that. I also tried two of their other scents just in this mini form um the sweet amber and then the original scent the original actually does have a scent it's kind of like a citrusy mm, kind of floral scent um but this was it's unisex like i think either a guy or a girl could wear this this was my least favorite of the three just because i tend to not like the way citrus deodorants smell on me um, and I just didn't think this worked well with like my body chemistry in terms of this specific scent. Um, I quite liked the Sweet Amber scent. I feel like it's very warm and cozy and it is quite strong when you first apply it. Like it's almost like a perfume, but it does kind of mellow and fade throughout the day. So it didn't, you know, it wasn't that in your face for that long. Um, but I think this would be really nice in the winter. Right now it's kind of spring, summer, and I'm not is in the mood for like a warm scent like this, but I did think this was a really nice scent. So this is what the deodorant actually looks like. It is getting a little messy on this side, um, but nothing too crazy. I know sometimes natural deodorants can really like fall apart. This is like keeping its shape for the most part pretty well. The one slight drawback of this formula or this deodorant is that it's kind of difficult to apply. Like the formula itself is very solid and so you really have to like rub it on there to get it to transfer but for me it's like not a big deal totally worth it to have a deodorant that actually works for me so that's fine i've also realized like if your armpits are slightly damp like when you first get out of the shower and then you apply this it somehow goes on easier so i don't know if that's something to keep in mind like if you want to apply this right after your shower. It did go on a little bit easier for me. So the only place I know where to get these is online. I will put the link to the website down below. I believe these run for $7.99, so not a bad price. Um, you will have to pay some shipping fees. I think that was like $5.95, so you might want to like order a couple sticks at a time or something. Um, but I really enjoyed this so far. I'm definitely going to be purchasing this again and also getting one for my mom because I know she is trying out some different natural deodorants and I want her to be able to try this too. All right, let's move right along to some of the other deodorants that I've tried. I've got some like major drugstore brands. I've also got a couple more indie brands to talk about. So a good variety. Um, let's just start with a well-known brand. This is Tom's. Um, I got the tea tree scent and this claims to have 24 hour odor protection, long lasting deodorant. It says it's the number one natural deodorant brand. Um, as you can see, like, yeah, this is kind of messy, but that's just like, yeah, how sometimes natural deodorant gets. And that's what this looks like. This was very easy to apply, like very slick, easy to roll on. However, I don't agree that this is long lasting. The odor protection was like, okay. Does not keep you dry at all. I don't think it even claims to, which is fine. I prefer to sweat less. Like it's just what I'm used to having kind of grown up with uh, aluminum based deodorants that sometimes having that much wetness makes me a little uncomfortable. Didn't love this. And then also the tea tree scent, it smells fine like in the stick. It's just like a nice fresh scent, but I don't know if it was like the right choice for me. Like I didn't love how it smelled on my body like personally. Yeah, this was just a product where I felt like if I was having like an important day, like either something like business or professional related or even like a big social event, I was tempted to just use my secret aluminum deodorant and not use this because I just didn't trust it enough. Next up, I'm going to talk about the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Refreshing Deodorant with Plant-Based Deodorizers. Again, this claims to have 24-hour odor protection. Um, this one looks like just like a typical deodorant stick. It smells amazing again kind of messy that's just like a pattern i've noticed with natural deodorants um anyway i love the smell of this it smells so great just like a beach vacation um and for this one i was for the first week really convinced like this is great this is the best deodorant like i'm so excited but that's why i said it's important to test these at least for like two weeks because i feel like after a while it didn't feel as effective on me anymore and I don't know if I was just like super hyped up the first week and like loved the scent and that's why I thought it worked so well or maybe I just wasn't as active or it wasn't as hot that week or something but 
after that, I just started to feel like it was wearing off quickly and um, that I felt like I needed to reapply. And again, this one does not claim to keep you dry and it really doesn't. So, I mean, it's just a deodorant, but I just still felt like not the strongest protection. This is the type of thing where I was like, happy if I wasn't really doing anything that day, but if I was out and about, I would feel like I needed to reapply. Next up, I'm gonna talk about what I believe to be like a smaller indie brand that I found on Amazon. This is called Stink Bug Naturals. Um, it's an aluminum-free baking soda-free deodorant, and this is in the scent Vanilla Mint Charcoal. And this one has like a sensitive skin formula, so it's got no baking soda and no propylene glycol. I might have pronounced that wrong. Looks like this, so it's kind of gray, probably from the charcoal. I really like the scent of this one, but this one is almost like, because it's the vanilla mint, it almost smells like a Girl Scout cookie. Like it's got a very sweet scent to it, and I like it, but I don't know, personal opinion. So this one is another one where it was kind of difficult to apply and that the formula is very solid, so it's kind of difficult to roll onto your underarms. However, the application tips for this um, recommend just holding it to your skin for a few seconds to kind of warm up the product and then swiping it so that you're able to dispense it a little bit more easily. Um, so that is a tip for this one. And this one I wore for a while and I was mostly very happy with it. Um, it was like a pretty decent day-to-day -day deodorant. Like if you are unable to use baking soda in your deodorants, like this is a decent option. The thing that really like made me still want to look for something else is that when I was wearing this, like if my heart rate got elevated or I started to sweat, then I feel like you could start to smell my BO. Like it was good day to day, but like in sweaty situations, not so much. And I remember I was testing this one at a time where I was dating someone like pretty consistently. And I always remember being very self-conscious of like, if we were cuddling or whatever, like I'm like, I know that I can smell my BO. And if I can smell my BO, then he can smell my BO. And I just remember being self-conscious about that, but like, not wanting to like be like oh like i'm just testing a natural deodorant like it's kind of like a new dating situation so i didn't really want to like draw attention to it so it's just kind of awkward and i just remember feeling like self-conscious i don't know like it was fine for the most part but then yeah like if you sweat or like yeah like it just you could definitely smell bo so the last deodorant that I have here to talk to you guys about is this Type A deodorant, and I actually saw this based on an Instagram ad. Um, this claims to have sweat-activated technology. It's an aluminum-free deodorant. I got the Dreamer scent, which is a white floral linen scent, um, and it claims to be powered by natural ingredients, um, activates every time you sweat to prevent odor and protect against wetness. Um, and I actually really like the application of this, so it's got a twist-off cap. And then um, this little thing, and you just squeeze it up. Here, I'll just do a little bit. You basically just squeeze it up, and it comes out the top like that. And then you can just like roll this on your underarm directly, and this little applicator kind of just like helps you apply it. So it's interesting that it's a liquid formula, but you don't have to get your hands messy or anything. And it's below three ounces, so if you want to travel with it, you can. Again, I felt mostly good using this deodorant, like for a natural deodorant. I thought it did a decent job, but I would notice like if I was like, because I'm testing these deodorants, I'm, you know, smelling my armpits and like seeing how they're doing. I felt like with this one, if you actually smelled your armpits, then you could smell the VO, but it was weirdly just very confined into that little area. So unless someone was like right up in your business, like you were fine. Like I even was like with like a good girlfriend and I was like, hey, like I'm testing this deodorant, like what do you think? And they were like, oh, I don't smell you at all. And I was like, really? Like, cause I kind of can. And then they came and smelled me and they're like, oh yeah, like, okay. But before they had no idea. So unless someone's like really like under your shoulder, like whatever, I think you're fine. The other like weird-ish thing when I was using this is that I realized, and I'd never been conscious of this before or noticed it with any other brand of deodorant, but I feel like when I was wearing this, my right pit consistently smelled worse than my left pit. And I don't know, like, I guess that's possible. Maybe you have like different glands active at different times or something, but I had never ever noticed that before. I don't know what to do with that information. Like, <laughs> but it's something I'd only ever noticed with this and I don't notice it using other deodorants. So, okay. Um, and I really thought the just speaking about the scent of this, the Dreamer, the white floral linen, 
this is like the most sophisticated deodorant scent I've ever tried. Like it's beautiful. Like this, it feels like very high end to me. So I will say that is a plus about it. However, I do feel like by the end of the day, it sometimes would turn a little bit just like based on my body chemistry where it didn't smell so fresh anymore at the end of the day. The other thing about this is it says for best results used on squeaky clean skin. I mean, on one hand that makes sense because obviously like if you apply it when you're fresh out of the shower, it can maybe like block everything, keep everything at bay. Whereas like if you've already been sweating or something, there's only so much a deodorant can do. However, that made me feel like, you know, if I was in a rush in the morning or something and was going to shower later at night, like that this wouldn't be effective, as effective at least, like applying it like not squeaky clean. So I don't know what to do with that uh, instruction or that caution, but I mean, it makes sense, but so there you have it. Those are my thoughts on, I think, seven brands of natural deodorant as well as my recommendation for my personal favorite. Um, I would love to know if you guys have tried any of these brands down below. Like, let me know if you had different experiences because I do really think that deodorant can be very personal based on the formula and the scent. I think some scents work better on some people versus others. Definitely some room for personal preference. I have spent so much time now over these past few months testing brands that I'm just so psyched to have found one that works for me. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or useful in any way. And hit subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks. Bye.